Hello guys, so this is the Poco M4 Pro It's also known as the Redmi Note 11S With the code name is Floor And in this video I will show you how to flash custom ROM on this phone Okay, it is using the ROS based on Android 12.5 All the file and instruction I will provide in my blog You can check in the description box Okay if there is any update, I will put it in my blog. So it will cover all the important thing to flash. Just to be noted, this is an early stage, so bug is expected. So stay tuned and check it out. Okay, hello guys, assalamualaikum. Good again with Tom Bob. Okay, so this time we have the Poco M4 Pro, or with the other name is Redmi Note 11 S 4G. The code name is Floor. And in this video, I will show you how to flash the custom ROM on this phone. Okay, so before we get started, let's check the exacting system. <coughs> As you can see right here, it's using the Mute 13.0.5 and using the Android 11. Okay, it has 8 GB of RAM and using the Helio G96. Okay. And before you continue, make sure you have unlocked the lottery pawn. Okay. <clears throat> As usual, it's straightforward. Just insert the milk on and wait for seven days. After that, you can unlock your pawn. Okay, you can see right here. I already unlocked the pawn. And if you need to have root access on the stock ROM, you can check my previous tutorial on how to root <coughs> Poco M4 Pro on the stock ROM using Magis. Okay, so. It is already unlocked. First thing we want to do is turn off the pawn and put it into the fast boot mode. Okay, <clears throat> as usual, fast boot mode can be accessed by pressing volume down and the power button at the same time. So this is the file, all the file that we needed, and this is the steps. Okay. I will put the link for the files and step in my blog. The link is in the description box. Okay, so let's open the terminal or CMD. Okay. And let's flash the VB meta. Just paste it in here and just click and drag the file. Okay, I will I can search the VB meta in my blog. And now let's flash the Custom recovery. We're going to use the orange box. Okay, let's use this one and enter. Then let's put it into the recovery. Okay, copy and paste it. <clears throat> uh, okay, make sure. You already download the custom ROM. In this tutorial, we're going to use the ROS. I already copied several files into the microSD, so I already copied the backup dot h s h. It is the script script file to backup the email baseband. And I already copied the ROS. Okay, so you should copy all the files, or you can simply use the ADB site load if you want to. Okay, so now let's try to flash the ROM. Okay, let's switch the screen. Okay, let's continue. As you right here, I already copied all the files that needed. First thing you want to do is pick up the email baseband. But in this custom ROM, it doesn't support, so you have to do it manually. 
Okay, basically this the backup dot sh is the script to backup. So let's copy the file and put it into the SD card. Okay, let's swipe it. And then let's go to, to this menu. More and open terminal. Okay. Now let's tap this command cd space sd card and you can see we have our file in here just run up run the backup s s s h and run the backup file okay and it will start backing back up all the file and you can <coughs> check the file in the internal storage email backup folder okay let's let's check if already backup okay you can see right here it's already backup all the file that needed okay you can copy this folder and put it in a safe place okay let's put it into the external storage SD card one and put it in here okay so if there's uh, there's something wrong you can always restore that one and we can see right here the file already copied to the microSD in this folder okay so we're good to go and for the next step we want to flash the custom ROM Okay, let's go to the SD card where you have your file and let's select the Aero OS. Okay, this custom ROM is already included gaps, so you don't have to install the gaps again. So the size is about 1.3 gigabyte, so it takes time. So I will skip this one it's done now let's go to the home screen select this menu uh sorry this swipe menu go to the format tab and tap yes it will format the run storage and let's get reboot system okay usually for the first time it will take time so we have to wait until it boots into the home screen okay <clears throat> And just for your information, this custom ROM is still in the early stage, so bug is expected expected in this ROM. Okay, I just show you how to flash it. So next time you have a custom ROM, you will know how to flash on your Poco M4 Pro or the Redmi Note 11s. Okay, you can see right here. Now it's booting and it's using the arrow as boot logo and now it's in the android wizard all you need to do is hit next next until it goes to the home screen and here we go now we have successfully flashed custom rom on our phone okay this is the arrow s based on android 12.5 and it already included gaps okay that's all guys uh for the rom as i said before it is expected to have a bug and it had the bug of nfc and voltage okay so maybe i will try to make a review about your rom for the next video okay thank you all have a nice day and i hope you like my video if you find it very useful please give it a thumb and i also have lots of video about routing custom rom and lots of fun okay especially xiaomi samsung realme asus and other stuff okay uh you can find in my video maybe some of the video will be useful for you okay guys if you subscribe it will make me excited to make a new video
and that's all stay safe stay safe stay healthy and wassalamualaikum